All right. We're good. So, party, you have just finished a combat with spiders. Um, in the conclusion of said combat, Rimian will die of his wounds. No, don't die. Uh, and then roll into a river and be washed away and all his goods with him. Oh, see, that's not fair. We should have been able to strip his corpse like we did to, to the hill. <laughs> I didn't have much on me to begin with. <laughs> he was Do we get a chance to, roll to, to drag his corpse back in if we notice? No, it's gone forever. Sorry. Um, the three of you remaining are tired uh, and if I recall correctly, relatively wounded. So, so, what will you do? We need to rest. Yeah. 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 Also, I will afford party members knowledge nature to discern more about said spiders and their monstrous nature. Okay, what well, we roll down for that. So, can I do an arcana? It's a skill or? called knowledge nature. <laughs> My cat is going that. completely buck wild. Oh, just intelligence then. Oh, no, it is in here. It's under nature. Name nature. Ooh, look at that. All 17. Right. Oh, due to their general large nature, you would guess that there's probably um, a nest around here somewhere. And where there's a nest, there is a matriarch. And where there's a matriarch, there tends to be treasure, due to the fact that spiders will bring their prey back and uh, covered in webs, and then drain their vitals and what have you after their poison has liquefied them. Uh, at least their innards, that is. Um, and they have no means to collect the loot or reason to do so, so their lair typically has a hoard of some type. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, does this? Does my roll? Did do I know like where this lair is? You wouldn't know where it is, but they are quite large, and you may be able to follow their tracks. All right. Do you, like a perception or an insult? No, perception check or something. Uh, to follow their tracks, it would be a survival check. Oof! My survival was really low. Does anybody have something better? Mine's just zero. I've got plus two. Good. Mine's negative one. <laughs> so before we can safely decide if we want to confront them or retreat, we need to know where they are, right? Yeah. Correct. Oh, it's useless. But your better conscience dictates that you might want to rest first, and then with the light of day affording you a bit more leeway, Perhaps then you'll be able to make a path towards where treasure might be found. Treasure. Yes. Okay, I think we right. should uh, rest up. Um, if we got anything we can we can use. We've got help. the tent and stuff. Yeah. Um, is anybody here like severely injured? Do we need to do any first aid or healing? Actually, no, I'm most not. of you are, are decently okay. You're just sore from fighting. You were healed previous to your cleric's untimely demise. Well, then we should stop. just, uh, yes, I guess spend the night here. You do have three large, very large spider corpses laying about. What are we supposed to do with dead spiders? Uh, you... It will attract carry-on eventually. Use them to yeah, cover yourself. Them Should we shove them in the river too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the easiest uh -huh. way. Right? We don't have to carry them. Oh, there. mighty river, please take our troubles away. Yeah, the fishes can have them. <sighs> All right. So I mean, we're shove the spiders well, into the river. Did we loot them? Is there stuff on their little corpses? The spiders uh, have no pockets to which to carry. They, they would carry goods. Is there any part of them that's useful? Like, have they got a venom sack? You can roll me a nature again. They definitely do have venom glands. 
That's such I've, an EQ thing to ask. I've got a plus three on uh, nature. Do you want me to roll? Yes, please yes. do. Let's get that venom. If you are learned in the ways of spiders. All right, a giant monster spider like this, their mandibles may be useful for the general um, piercing method in which they are built. You also might Ooh. find use in their fur if you're able to shave the hair off their ass, basically. Um, a silk <laughs> gland may be useful, and so may the poison gland. Some of these things are much easier to collect than others, and some of them are inherently dangerous that if you were to mistakenly do it in the wrong fashion, you yourself may end up poisoned. Uh, I want to try and get the mandibles. You said they're good for stabbing things. They look probably like they'd be good for daggers. Uh, like, can you more... use them as a weapon? or? Nah, it wouldn't be very good as an improvised weapon. Unless you were perhaps building a trap that powered the mandible itself into piercing somebody to inject something. How about if you uh, tipped the uh, uh, the hunting spears with them instead? They're far too small for that. Okay. I think we should go for the um, probably the most dangerous but the most useful for the paralysis poison. If someone's got knowledge, they could extract the poison gland. Yeah, I think we should get the poison glands for sure. Uh, what All do we right, need to so do to get those out? It is going to be a survival for butchering this creature. Also, you can eat spider meat. Yeah. So I mean, meat. yeah, I'd, I'd probably eat I'd, spider meat, sure. I'd eat spider meat. I'd think that <laughs> I've got nearly three weeks, three weeks worth of rations in my bag, so, you know. Yeah, but fresh not spider meat. Point yet. A fresh, hot spider meat. Nothing tastes as good as the flesh of your because you're of your defeated enemy. Right. So let's butcher Especially these spiders. When they have your companions' flesh inside of them. They didn't eat, and they just got bitten. Yeah, they didn't eat anybody. <laughs> good. Roll me. If we were going to eat Phil, we would have already done so. <laughs> we're not Do that hard up yet. Um, I will give whoever is doing advantage if the rest of the party is pitching in to help. Yeah, I'll help. Alright, All who's right. got the highest survival? For anyone who doesn't want to eat spider meat. I'm eating spider meat. You don't have to Oak eat would meat. totally eat spider meat. meat. And the venom. Alright, I'm rolling survival. Yeah. What do I have to roll higher then? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that until after you roll. Okay. I got a plus two. What do I get plus for these two helping me. You get advantage, so you get to roll twice and choose the higher. Okay, so I just... Do I hit the advantage thing first? Yep. And then hit on the thing. And it's survival. Yep, you got it. Yep. Right. Okay. With that, nice. you will be successful in extracting six poison glands, two per two. spider. Cool. Poison glands. What about meat? How much meat did we get? This is important. Uh, each spider has roughly about, I don't know, 20 pounds of edible meat that isn't the internals, so 60 pounds of spider meat if you want it? I'm going to take 10 pounds of that meat and throw it over the fire and make some spider kebabs. You don't have a fire set tonight. I thought yeah, we, we did. did, over by, yeah, we did, over oh, by did the you? tent. Yeah, yeah, we had a whole okay. camp set up. I, we also okay. had a second fire from where we burnt Aphilius. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. It probably would be better for barbecuing, but you all suck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, please roll me a wisdom to see how well you prepare the spider kebabs. All righty. Mm, they're delicious. Not great. I think they're great. I semi raw. It's yeah. extra tender. It's a little bit raw, okay. pink on Not the yet. inside. Like uh, Lee, you believe if you were to eat these, you would probably be, get sick with the way they've been prepared. I wasn't going to eat them anyway. Okay. But, uh, oh, for you, hey, man, <laughs> this is great. Blaze just, uh, he just picks one up with one hand. 
and then he just uses control fire on the other hand and just starts making it a bit more crispy. All right. All right, so now you have gore and viscera spewing about uh, as well as spider carca carcasses. You've got what? Blood and viscera. Oh, okay. Blood and guts. So sh should we shove them into the river now? <laughs> I mean, I'm all for shoving the dead spiders into the river. Let's do it. Come on. Is there anything else? <laughs> hey, what else are we going to do with them? Oh, <laughs> Meat. We've got, got should, we get the silk, should we get the silk sacks while we're here? Yeah. Oh, I thought you uh, did that. Our silk, silk could be valuable. I mean, I didn't leave Ethereum's boots behind, so yeah, I'm not leaving the silk behind if it can be sold. Okay. Well, since you've already butchered them, it'll be an easy job extracting the silk sacks. Um, it'll just leave Lee a bit more uh, covered in gore. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. So yeah, they have been harvested for their goods, um, and now you may choose what to do with them. Also, Ope, roll me a percentile. Higher is the more you like it, lower you don't particularly care for spider. Uh, I forgot how to roll percentile. If you right-click on the 10-sided die, you'll see a percent there, and you just throw it on the board. I think it missed the board. Did you see that one? No, nope, you missed the board. Does uh, Blaze need to roll as well? Uh, yes, if you have tried it. You... Oh my god, Ope, this is the best. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you might form an addiction. <laughs> That's how good it is. Natural 100, that is the most delicious spider meat I have ever had. You will now begin to fiend for spider meat. Mm, spider meat. Okay. Hey, get me some more of this spider meat. <laughs> <laughs> Ope is laying over by the river with its stomach extended as it just lays there after having gorged on the spider meat. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And so the night will wear on. Legon's going to go to the uh, river muttering something about what has become of him. Wash himself up and go to bed. <laughs> Alright. I have just gonna long pass rest out the cold. party. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You will awaken the next morning. Party well, it's about it's about nine is when you all will awaken and find that it is raining. Um it's a cold rain today. Put on my extra clothes just to keep warm. All right. Okay. <laughs> not, not the dead ones. Not the dead guys ones. The other set. All right. But surely enough, in the cold light of morning, taking a further look at the spiders and their trail, you would guess that following the river down further. Can into I just the... say, if you guys had had your character looted, burned, <laughs> set on fire, and taught it as much as me by now, you would have pooed yourself, pissed the bed. <laughs> And cried yourself to sleep about five times. <laughs> but man, you missed out on the spider meat. Just quietly you sat here taking got dead. it. <laughs> Don't make me explode. Uh, right. Uh, what was I saying? Right, so further down the river, there seems to be a bit more craggly area that dips down. And you feel that the spiders might have come from the gully about eh, a couple of hours walk. I am fiending for some more spider meat, so I'm trying to get everybody to follow me and go down there and get more spiders. <laughs> okay. Blaze wants to get. I am packed and ready to go. Let's get paid. Come on. Woohoo! All right. Can I do another? I mean, you all... uh, can I do another uh, uh, nature check to see if I can, uh, in the light of day, see where? We go in what's happening yeah so uh it'll be a, a couple of hours walk but that's what your your um knowledge need... of the spiders uh habits have told you so blaze is his, his companion saying we need to be cautious we can't be caught by surprise by these spiders because i've endured their paralysis poison and it is 
it is very dangerous. We need to be able to take them from a distance. So, some time will pass as you all walk your way down along the Bending River. Um, and at which point in time I would like Saito and Latox, La Lox, whatever the fuck your name is, to roll me a perception <laughs> check. Oh, what's happening? I had you two to. have a chance to spot the party. Oh, okay. And uh, mayhaps ambush the three of them. <laughs> roll a perception. Okay, one sec. Wait, uh, what? Party, what's you yours? can also give me a counter perception as well to see if you can see them. <clears throat> Mine's zero. Yeah, just uh, go to your skills and you'll find perception in there. Yeah, it's zero. So I'm just checking what Linkers is. So see if he can. Uh, if his is better than mine. We get to roll okay. perception too. Yeah, oh, we just all roll in it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Eleven. I got a zero. All right, Lee Gon, you're going to notice two uh, questionable mercenaries near the entrance to what you would suspect to be a type of ruins. It has cobbled stairs leading up the side of this craggled hillside into a cave that is caked in webbing, and these two seem to be ponderously looking at it. Uh, attempting to figure out what further to do from here. Blaze Hope. You all. Look up ahead. What's that? Two mercenaries. Looks like they're about to uh, enter. Uh, our, Think the spiders uh, are in there? Almost definitely. <laughs> do they look trustworthy or dangerous? They do not. But then again, we don't either. You do not. Here, covered in spider gibbs. Maybe we can uh, make use of them. Yeah, let's go make friends. Let's go up there and uh, see if they'll they'll go kill spiders with us. Get some more spider meat. Yeah, go on then. Hey! Yeah, you, you go first. You go first. You're Lox and Saito. Suddenly, someone shouts "Hail!" from down the way. Turning, you'll see a motley crew: a kobold, the dragon folk, and a human. Uh, I'd like to roll um, an insight check to see what levels they are. You already know what levels they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, we're just meeting them, right? How, how do I know that? I'm just saying, out of you can roll oh, insight yeah, okay. if your character would know well, of their general... Yeah, because uh, I'm trying to like get a good feel for them and be like, are these guys like seasoned warriors or what's going on? Where do they come from? This and that, you know. All right, throw it. You have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna. Um... Do I have an idea? You can. Uh, you kind of have an idea, but you' not sure. Okay. Um. What about? Okay. So. Uh, Lox toxin. Yeah, la toxin. La la, la toxin. Like, yeah, yeah. It's a silent X. Um. <laughs> I completely okay. forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> um. What? Uh, shit. A toxin. Mm. What do you make of these uh, folks coming up behind us? Harmless. Let's talk to them. All right. Yeah, all right. I will approach uh, the party of three and ask them what their business is. I might kind of hide behind the other two because, you know, people don't meet kobolds very well. <laughs> all right. Hey, are you two, are you, uh, are you interested in that cave, the spider nest? We are actually... Um, very interested. We are on a, um, I guess you could say, a uh, quest to find out um, what is going on around these parts. And we have arrived here to investigate this cave. Yes, we have found out there's a spider matriarch. Mm. Is there a lot of spiders in there? We don't know yet. We were just getting to the part of 
going d further into the cave to investigate when you guys came upon us. How about Sorry. this? Team up, split the loot 50-50. That sounds okay. Well, you five, want... five away split. Uh, Sato nod, um, knowing that there's wisdom and strength in numbers. All right, let's go do it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Can we, uh, can I, can we roll a perception check to see what we can discover about the, the yeah, cave? The cave. Or... Bear with me for just a moment. I'm about to provide you with a map. Ooh, a map. Ooh. Okay. AFK, a quick sec while like, that loads. Companions, I think we need to uh, make sure we're fully prepared before we enter. Spood a nest. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Nice Spooder nest. Could have gone for Spider nest as well. Yeah, the matriarch is named Spooder pig. That would be <laughs> great. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> I'm just telling. I'm just gonna let you know right now. <laughs> I, I, I like how you break these things to us gently. All right. So, before you stands the ruins of some kind of structure that you are not certain its origin or reason of even existing but the cobbled stone stairs speak that it may be from ages ages past that your people have forgotten about um now the webbing and general evidence uh, i.e bones and things like that that are strewn about would lead you to believe that there is a decent amount of spiders here um, and that proceeding and pressing your luck in this area may lead to, uh, casualties. We should smoke them out. Blaze, I've got an idea, uh, can you give me, uh, the uh, Dead Man's Trousers you've got? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'm using them. I'll bring you back one second, guys. Sorry. I think rather rather than um, going directly in, we might want to try an indirect method to uh, to kill a weak in them. We could try and smoke them out. If we start a large enough fire, we could smoke the whole cabin out. Well, I've got uh, an oil flask. I was going to uh, wrap the... Uh, <laughs> wrap the clothes around a uh, big stick like the oil flask and then we've got some light and we can uh... well I've got some torches in my explorer's pack I've, so I've, got... that perhaps would have uh, been easier we've got yeah. we've got blaze he can just make fire and oh, uh, make fire too but I can control fire so if we've all got torches that are on fire that would I could uh, I can enhance them how many torches we got I've got ten, so I've got two people can have that. All right, throw up a torch then. We, yeah, we haven't got Legon's character on the board yet. Oh. Yeah, we do. Really? Yeah, he's down at the bottom under Blaze. All oh, right. I think there's something wrong with that. Do we need to roll an insight each? An insight for what? The thing that decides who goes first. Oh no, no. Okay. Right now you're not in combat, so you're okay. Uh... And we don't see any spiders from where we're at. We just see evidence of them. Uh, currently you do not, but the dark the cave is dark, and the general sounds coming from it, however, lead you to believe that they are active inside of there. You can hear the thudding and every now and then uh, chittering almost and a higher about, pitched sound. What about me with my dark vision? I should be able to see something. From where you're at right now, you're not able to see up past this lip right here. Um, so you're not sure what, what, fur what is further up the staircase. Like You'd have to go around the corner to see it, you're saying. Yeah, I get it. Correct. Yeah. Well, why don't we send Ope in ahead because she can stealth <laughs> up and see what's around the corner. Normally, I'd say that's a really good idea, except he just giggled. 
So, but I'll do it. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I should stealth <clears throat> up and go go scout. I guess. Okay. All right. Oh wow. All right, you may move as you wish. I'm gonna kind of hide at that corner and peek around. Why has Hope got a stealth penalty? Because well, of the armor. I... What's what armor? You are wearing <clears throat> scale mail. When did I put scale mail scale. on? Is that the scale mail you loot? I'm not wearing scale mail. Did you oh, loot? All right, I took it off of you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah. that's, that's what Phil had with scale mail. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Should roll uh, again. Uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have had yes, scale you mail. May, you that. may roll again. <laughs> there we go. All right. <clears throat> anyway, peeking around, scouting up around Please the corner. Please give me I a guess. perception check if you wouldn't mind. Okay, you will see nothing. What? There's uh, just this, webbing. This, this, the stairs. Yeah. Can I can I move closer to Doidy just in case it pops up or sneakily? You may. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Give gesture to everybody check. that it's uh, clear to come up to this point at least, so you guys can come up to here. Okay. Do I still need to roll my stealth check? Yes, everyone will. Okay. Okay, nah, okay, everybody does not need to any further. Uh, as Blaze is taking his first steps up the staircase, he is going to trip. Um, wow. And he is going to smash into Latoxin, sending him forward into the stairs, his chain armor echoing from the stones as they send several rocks tumbling down the uh, craggy surface here, making enough noise to wake anybody within about a mile. Fool of a took. Damn. Stupid man. That's where you're going. I hope to get back here now. The sound from inside the cave will cut short suddenly and abruptly. And dead right, silence so, will hold. So they didn't move up at all then? None of you uh, moved They up? probably made it about here. What about the rest of you? I can't see anything on my map. Like whoa, 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 Wed. He stumbled into me. Can I not use an athletics check to see if I can dodge out of the way? Yeah. Uh, he's he. It was surprising for you. you. Didn't expect him to like tackle you from behind. Oh, okay. You can't see anything on your map at all, Tide. I just closed it. Can you reopen it for? There you go. Or how do I? There, do you go. there we go. Really? Oh, give me a perception before you move. Oh, come okay. on. I see nothing. I'm going to scamper back down a little bit. Stop. You can move one square down, and that's where... Bap, right there. All right, as you step backwards, you're going to step into something that squishes as you put your foot down. And looking down, you're going to see a swarm of insects starting to cover your foot. Insects being spiders. You have a swarm of spiders. Little baby spiders? Yeah, starting to cover you. Uh aggressively can i run <laughs> you can but they're on you now <laughs> yeah but can i run back to everybody else yes <laughs> oh my god oh run so oh, Oak will run towards you all spider. <laughs> screeching at the top of her lungs back to everybody Oak will run towards you as a swarm of spiders descends upon it covering it Pretty much from head to toe as these little things bite her. Combat has now begun. So well, let's roll initiative. Spider swarm gets to act first because it surprised you. These oh, spiders will have to bite you. They will successfully bite you. I hope you're being bitten by hundreds of spiders. Sido, what, what are you I doing? Do? <laughs> the cobalt's covered in spiders. Can I, I think, stop what, what can roll? I do? I can't attack the spiders because I'll hit Oak. <laughs> so um, when dealing with a swarm, 
typically fire works best. Things that well, got talk. Like if you were to throw a vial of oil and open set her alight, that would probably be pretty effective getting the insects off of her. Oh my god, why are you like this? Can I stop, <laughs> drop, and roll and just kind of like roll around? <laughs> I'd like to use an athletic check to see if I can grab Ope and um, swing her as fast as I can around me. <laughs> Shooting sure. The oh, no. Her. oh no! Sure. <laughs> Please roll me in athletics. All right. Oh no! That's this is actually bad. a bad idea. It's just gonna spread them all over all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great uh, idea. I'd like to even pack that actually. All right. Um, actually, I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna look over at uh, swing your Tom. torch. Swing your torch. You got a flaming torch, your torch around. Yeah, try yeah. and burn as many that are right. on, not on me as you can. Scare them off her. How we roll that. Um, uh, just uh, you just make an attack at the swarm. Yeah, now, right. here's the thing, the caveat. If you miss, there is a chance you hit, just smack open the head with it for no reason. Um, okay. Um, uh, let's see then. Uh, okay. You're swinging your torch? Yeah. Okay. You will burn some of the spiders away. Roll me a d6, I believe it is. No, I'm sorry, it's a d4. <clears throat> Four. Okay. All right. Um, nice. Without singeing you, Saito has managed to kill some of the spiders. The toxin. It is your turn. Um, party, you will also notice that the swarm that she did not have on her is descending down the stairs towards you all to rejoin with their brethren. I think that's where you just moved towards uh, the toxin. Uh, where, yes. Where is this swarm? Can you add them onto the map? Uh, the swarm itself take is taking up. You draw like a blob where they are or something. There we go. That area right there. Burn them with fire. Phil, you're muted. Yeah, I can't hear you, Phil. Oh, I put push to talk on because my kids are in the room. Sorry. Um, okay, I moved a little bit forward. Uh, All right. Let's have a look. I'm under. <clears throat> Deal them. Burn them all. What's a mess kit? It's what you use to eat. All right, okay. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do here, is there? Fight, but there's like tiny little bit of step on them, I suppose. Yeah, I could just jump around you stepping got, on them. You've got a torch, so you could just do an attack like. I got a torch. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah it's all a tor torch. Uh, yeah, use my torch. All right. Go ahead and roll. Um, just, it's basically just a strength check. All right, you'll be able to burn some of the spiders. Roll me a d4, please. Okay. All right, the swarm itself is going to move now to cover this area. Uh, Blaze and Saito, you're going to realize that your legs are now being covered by the spiders as well. We managed uh, to to reduce the amount of spiders at all? Mm, marginally. 
They are going to spend their turn uh, infesting, basically, so they don't get to attack. They're crawling everywhere they can, though. <clears throat> oh! How, co how covered am I? Uh, about halfway. Is there anything I can do to roll out of this? Um... Um, or some way, or knock some of them off of me with like athletics or something, acrobatics. Not really. Me and Lee gonna do as well. Right? Can't just roll around on the ground. Unfortunately, that doesn't exactly work with spiders like it would with um, a fire. I, mean, I don't have any fire lit either. Um, you got your torch. I don't have a torch lit. I mean, I can light a torch. Will Did that take you... my turn? Oh, have... uh, it is a move action to retrieve it. And oh, then... we lit before we went in. I didn't have a torch lit. Uh, not... yeah, it's just a move action to retrieve a torch. Um, so... I know that uh, you're kind of newer to the comp the um, action economy, so let me hit you with a little bit of advanced technique. You can retrieve a torch and hold it, and then do a held action to where when one of your party members um, lights the torch for you, you can then swing it or try to burn away some of the spiders. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get a torch. Yeah. I'm gonna grab one. I don't know who has them. It's um, out to everyone, so you've got one. I've got one. I've got it out, but somebody else has to light it. That's what you're saying. I can't light it off of somebody else's fire that they've already lit on the ground. Uh, you you know what? I'll let you. So it's a half move action to secure the item. Uh, I'll let you light it off of Saito and then or Saito's torch and then swing it. That's fine. I'm gonna swing it around then. Um, what have you guys been rolling for that? Just attack? Just straight up strength. Okay, you will flail about, and it doesn't seem to really do much. They back off at least. Uh, no. There are far too many of them to be intimidated by fire. Awesome. I mean, you might have scared some of them, but there's hundreds. If we run Wait. out of the cave, will they uh, run away because they don't like the sun? Uh, You're not sure. Okay. Tide, it's your turn. Okay, so we've got lit flames around us. Um, how far can I use control flames? It's like within a five foot cube, right? So where I am now, it'd be everyone surrounding me. Is that right? Uh, I bl check your spell. It should give you the exact yeah, um. Dimension. A non magical flame that you can see within range and that fits within a five foot cube. Yep, then you can, you know, range basically exert five feet cube of. Uh, um, feet anywhere along yeah. that. So I can put out fires, which isn't what I want. Um, I can double or halve the area of bright light. No. Change color. No. Um, cause simple shapes. Okay. <clears throat> So could I could I make like a fire like around us to try and slow stop these insects from getting to us? Uh, they're already on you. Okay. Uh, tell you what, I'm just going to use soul flame and one second, Ty.
Are you all scheming? Trying to. Because <laughs> I know I'm resistant to fire, a descendant of a fire dragon. I'm going to put flame over myself to kill all of the spiders on me. All right. Uh, you do not have to make an attack roll to do this. You do have to make me a... Roll me a 1d8. <clears throat> Is that the third one from the right? Yes, that is correct. Now, doing so, you're going to take half of the damage that is received in, in this uh, effort, but... Okay. You have managed to, in doing so, kill quite a few of the spiders. Uh, you will take three damage. Does that get reduced because I'm resistant, or not? Yeah, it's half of the seven, so it's oh, uh, three. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so that was my action. Can I also use a um, my shield spell? Uh, you may. Well, okay, so okay. shield is a reactive, so you can use it when something tries to attack you. Gotcha, so it's not like a proactive defense. It's just when they roll to attack me, then I can just instinctively use shield. Correct, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I won't use that then, yeah. All right. Um, you all see a large spider meander out of the cave and take a general gander around. Um, that's right. That's his turn. All right, Legon. <clears throat> so the choice here is. Do I kill those small spider, small uh, swarm, or do I fire out a ray of frost and try and stop this thing from getting to us? I checked; it's just in range for ray of frost. It does How damage much? and slows him. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Reduces him by ten feet until the next turn. The speed by ten feet, so. Maybe give us a couple of turns to get some damage in on him before he gets here. They do it. I wish you could charm spiders because then you get the spider to call his hatchlings back. I don't think you can. Uh, any works on humanoids, I'm guessing. Yeah. Or I can do uh, ID insinuation. Does a ton of damage and then. Uh, as long as I don't pass the wisdom throw, they're incapacitated. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Legon, you can afford me a perception check because you are the only person uh, with the correct angle to see something additional. Okay. Perception check. Oh, fuck you. Not sufficient. I'm going to go for uh, Ray of Frost against the giant spider. Do it. All right. Get him in the eye. Uh, so, do I drop the damage on him, or do I drop the save on him first? You save first and then damage. Okay. It's not giving me anything to pick up. Oh, there is no save on it. <clears throat> uh, Ray of Frost, let me check. Hold on. It's got a uh, attack. Uh, and Ray of Frost. You have to roll your attack first to see if you can hit him. Okay, and on him, yeah. Yep. It will fly wide and miss. God damn it! All done. Apparently so. I guess. Saito, you may also give me a perception check now. All right. Because oh lord, he coming. Oh, that'll be the mic. Um. Well, Rich, you know that arrow that says how far away we are from stuff? How do you get that up on this? Uh, if you go to the top and yeah. tap on target enemy units, it'll show you. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 
Saito, you will realize that there is a an additional target coming from up here. You can hear it moving through the the stone itself. Guessing that there's probably a tunnel there that you all just can't see yet, but there's probably something coming from there now. I can't even see my characters anymore. How do I move the screen back? Middle, the middle uh, mouse button. Okay, yeah, there we go. And you said, where's it coming from? To the right? Oh, yeah, to the right. Okay, I see there. Yep. Up the rock face a little bit. Um, all right. Um, I'd like to, uh, you know, I, I know there's something coming there, but I can't see it yet. So I'd like to do the only thing I really can do right now and attack that swarm again. All right, roll it up. That's just strength, right? Correct. All right, roll me a d4. Bam! Right, you will be able nice. to dissipate the swarm. Sick. Hey. Got your bag open. Woo! But we're about to get uh, much more company. Ah, we can handle a spider. That being said, Latoxin, it is your turn. So there's a spider coming from behind us, and a spider... You don't know that yet. I don't think that he has informed the party. Okay. Oh, fuck. Do I roll a perception check, or am I too far away? Uh, you are not in the proper um, vicinity to be able to tell. And this one right here looks like he's about to come down here and try to make lunch out of you. Yeah, I'll just chill here. All right. I can't, um, can't really get to him, kind of he's 45 meters away and I can only move forward, right. right? I don't want to move further away from the party. So. What you can do is you can hold an action and have a trigger being that if he comes within range to attack, you can strike him so that basically you're waiting for him to get closer. Yeah, that sounds dope. I'll do that. All right. So if for any reason he's able to clear 45 feet and get to you this round, uh, you'll be able to hit him first. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Ope. The yes. spiders dissipate, and you are freed from your terrifying coil. All right, I'm going to run up kind of behind um, a toxin. And, yeah. um, As you are moving yeah. upwards the stairs there, you're going to be able to see that there is indeed a burrow hole uh, that was above you, and there is another large spider coming from within. I'm going to point that out to everybody, like, ah, look up there. And... Uh, Hmm. Do I need to wait until I'm in combat to engage pack tactics, or? Uh, no, it's it's automatically always on. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. He's not technically right there. He still has to come down the rock face to get to you all, but that's where he is in relation to you. Uh, the rest of the party can't see him yet because he hasn't come or out of the burrow and start coming down the wall yet, but he's there. Okay. I'm going to cower. Right. I'm going to cower behind the toxin, which will, okay. should give, should give uh, everybody within 10 feet of me uh, advantage. All right. <laughs> That's it. So, oops, it's pitiful it's cowering it's will embolden you, Latoxin. You feel that you can you must bear the burden of this fight, for okay. Ope is not capable. Okay. I'm whimpering pathetically. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right. Uh, that gives uh, everybody everybody gets an advantage on that. Correct. They're not within ten feet of you. The, the toxin is though. The toxin is yes. There's enemies within 10 feet of, of me that can see me. Oh, there are no enemies within 10 feet of you? Yeah, they move into 10 feet of me. Okay, gotcha. Got it? Okay. All right, Blaze. How far can I move? 
Uh, can I? 30. Distance? Okay. So how far is that? If I move on the other side of Liga. Uh, 15. So I can move even further back and still take an action, yeah? Correct. Like there? Uh, yep. Okay, so I'm going to move there. Do I have um, sight of this spider above us? You do not. Uh, moving oh, there I will put you further out of... Yeah, they know it's there. They just can't see it. Okay. Is it because it's dark in that tunnel, or is it because it's like still? You can no, okay. So that is that is technically elevated above you all, and okay, it has not yet like breached it. the burrow to come down the wall towards you. So it's not out in plain sight. It's moving through the tunnel itself right now. Okay. What's the distance between me and the spider right to the north? Uh, it is, uh, 90 feet from you. Okay. Am I able to do, like, a reactive if something moves towards me? Can I still cast a spell or... Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to have a firebolt ready. I'm going to be looking up at that spider up at the top. And if that starts moving towards us, once it gets in range, I'm just going to let loose. All right. Uh, what's the range of Firebolt? Oh, hang on. It's 120 feet, so I can do it now. I didn't realize it was right. 60. Right. So I, I, actually, I'm going to Firebolt it now because it's in range, right? All right, go oh, for it. Oh. What do I need to do to, to cast that? Uh, it's just an attack roll. So you'll go to your actions, you'll go to Firebolt, uh, click the magnifying glass, and then it'll say ATK with a little sword next. There you go. Uh, you'll throw it, and it will miss. Okay. My turn. Oh. Uh, the spider here will begin moving. Uh, it will... Mm, I'm looking at my abilities. Hold for a moment. It will lunge. Actually, for a spider, it's called leap. So it is going to leap upon you, Latoxin. You get to strike first as you are prepared. Okay. And, he's, and he rolls with an advantage because he's been emboldened by yeah. hope. Yep. As yeah, Ope whimpers and cowers behind you, you like realize that, that you're going to have to be the one that does the fucking hard work here. That'll hit. That wasn't with advantage. Do I need to do that? No, you, if it you want to roll again to see if you can get a critical. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, nice. Uh -huh. All right, as it comes swooping towards you with its fangs prepared, you score a critical hit upon it. Oh, oh, Let's God. see what you can do. Roll that right. damage. How to roll damage again? Is it one uh, my next hit? Yep. I don't have Oh, the, yeah, yeah. That says 1D something or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna... I'm going to roll it, and I'm going to do a smite as well, all right? All right. I, I can do that, uh, right? Actually, uh, you can't with a reactive. You unfor oh, Unfortunately, okay. you can't do that. Okay. 14. Not bad. All right. You will crash the spider to the ground as it comes flying towards you, catching it midair with your blade, using your force to slam it into the ground where it will land looking like it's planned to not go as expected. Nice. Um, it's attack when you will land, however. And it'll attempt to poison you, which you will fail to resist. We're going to throw some poison on you. Oof, big damage. 
Uh, this spider now will clear the burrow and pop out and begin coming down the wall towards you, Saito. But it cannot attack you this round due to the movement. It has to move more than its range. Uh, but it is about five feet above you, so that you have a gigantic spider right over your head. Leon. Ooh. Okay. Uh, hmm. So I, I can see this spider now as well. I can move down the thing and still be able to fire stuff at it, yeah? Right. Okay, I'm going to move down next to Blaze. All right. Yeah, it's set well red. I'm a duelist, so I should have done more damage to that spider. That's already been set. Okay. And I'm going to cast ID Insinuation on Giant Spider 2. All right. So that's a save I need to drop on it, yeah? Correct. The spider will fail its saving throw against you. Alright, so he's incapacitated now, so he can't attack uh, Remy in. And then he incapacitated? Gets... Yeah. Remy in, please give me a strength check. The spider falls upon you. Uh oh. I'll be buried beneath the spider. Alright, Remy in, you will be able to catch the spider and shift its weight, making it land here. Awesome. Oh, that worked out well. And then uh, at the end of the spider's turn, he gets damaged onto him as well. Perfect. All right. Uh, Done? That's, yeah, that's my turn. All right. Saito, you have an incapacitated spider there, um, which means that it is not something, it's not defending itself. You may strike it with. Uh, advantage. Let me check real quick. Do you even roll to hit it if it's not? I, mean, I don't. Th I don't think so. If it's incapacitated, I think that it is technically a non-combatant at this point. Can't take actions or reactions. Uh, just a second here. That'd be like stabbing someone just lying there asleep, right? You get an advantage on it. Okay, I get advantage on it. Yep. If you miss well, a state spider, you're a terrible swordsman. I like to uh, invoke my great weapon master feat, do negative five on my roll. <laughs> All right. Ten. All right. Um, All right. So down there, you'll click advantage and then minus five and then roll. Yeah, I, I just, uh, yeah, I got it. All right. And now I'm going to roll. Ooh, nice. You will critically hit it. <laughs> With plus 10. <laughs> yes. All right. So now roll your damage, and now you'll do 24 damage to it. All right. <laughs> you'll be able to rip the spider asunder with that strike. Thanks, guys. Oh, it will perish. My spell never even got to finish landing. <laughs> Rips. Yeah, but it's just spell and capacity. We could just go full bore on it and crush it. That was amazing. That worked Finish. super well. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Toxin. Your turn. Is it not Oak's turn? No, it's your turn. Uh, no. You're, Oak's is cowering. Okay. <clears throat> he took a bonus from my cower. Uh, he misses either way. Oh, he didn't get advantage. And no, I believe it's only for one round. I get to smite though, right? Or is that if I actually hit? Oh, it's if you hit, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm, at the, until the end of your next turn. Nope, you get advantage because it's until the end of Ope's next turn. I so roll again. That. Oh. that will also miss. Ope. Oh. All right, I'm going to have to attack then, I guess. Uh, can I sneak yeah. attack? We... Uh, I can't. You can... You can step to here and use pack tactics, uh, but I believe that you need to. Um, hold on a second. Let me check, make sure I'm right. Yeah, I'm trying to look it up too. 
I think it has to be not a non-obvious line of sight. So you need to be flanking or behind. Does it count that she's behind? <laughs> behind the top. She can't reach it from there. <laughs> I mean, does that does that count as stealth? Does the spider know they're there? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I'm just gonna straight up attack it, I guess. Uh, All right. That will hit. Smashy, smashy. What else do I need to roll? Do I need to roll something Damage. else? Damage. Damage. All right, you will end the spider's life. Yay! And all is quiet at the moment. dun 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 yeah, that worked. Uh, was a very successful me, fight. Me and Phil both had crits on both of the spiders. Yeah, you guys hit good now. What happened? Well, I mean, that was luck, luck of the roll right there. If I was getting 20s like that. All right, whose turn is it now? It's You're out of combat at the moment. Do we not need to do something about uh, your guys' injuries? Yeah, I'm going to use... Uh... A healing kit on myself. All right. For all your medical. Or can, one, or can one of my friends please use this healing kit on me? If you've got knowledge of medicine. I have knowledge of medicine and a healing kit. My medicine um, is plus two. Yeah. Wow. I'm at half health. If anybody. Okay. So it. just a, as a caveat, the healing kit is used to stabilize a creature at zero hit points. Um, it can also give you one hit point, and it only has ten uses. So. What if I eat some uh, spider meat? Will that help me regen? No. <laughs> so I can use it. How many hit points do I see? I need to heal. Well, what are you at? I'm at 11 of 20. Oh. oh. So uh, one hit point. <laughs> I got to eat much. Is that a three, Walrid? How did I get down to three? No, you took three damage. Oh, that's three damage, right. Me doing a healing kit on them is only going to give them one health, right? That's not don't, don't, don't waste it on me. Don't waste it on me. I do have a priest pack. I don't know what that's got. It's for praying and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> Let's sell that. I have no idea where I got it from. <laughs> Pray to your god that... Uh, that uh, <laughs> kobolds are... Uh, kobolds are atheists. I guess I'm just going to have to sit here with 11 hit points then. I don't have bandages or anything. From the sounds that are coming within the cave, your fight is not yet con completed. And there will soon be more enemies. We are out of combat right now, right? You are currently out of combat because they have not shown themselves. What can I use to heal myself uh, in my healer's kit? Uh, It's... It's for stabilizing people who are downed, basically. If I roll, or you me can. Is medicine? What, what about medicine? Can medicine just roll and heal? Uh, using the healer's kit, you can heal one hit point, basically. So medicine skill really can't heal you at all. It. It's uh, how to put this. It is used it's for stabilizing people. Stabilizing, finding and out diagnosing. what diseases are happening, what okay, poisons yeah. are being, you know, what if poisons are affecting your party members, shit like that. And then the healer's kit's actually what heals, not the medicine skill. Okay, I get you. Right. But it only heals for, heals one, for one, so... Right. You know, okay. If there's 10 uses per healer's kit, I'm, I'm still going to do it on Blaze. He's going he's gonna to heal himself if, if he can. All right, each uh, attempt takes 10 minutes, by the way. I think. Using a kit. Time frame. I make sure I'm proper on this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Worst case, he's just going to get interrupted and stuff. Right. Yeah, we need to invest in some band aids or something. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Phil, you can use your yeah. your spell slots to do cure for yourself. 
uh, the rest of the party healing kits take six minutes per action, basically. So they could technically use multiple healing kits to just heal themselves all the way up? Uh, yeah, depending on how long you have. Okay, so six minutes. Um, Blaze is going to be healing himself for six minutes. What's the rest of the party doing? Uh, while Blaze is healing himself, is there any way I can see if I can uh, climb up to the tunnel where the uh, spider came out of? Or is it like literally you can, directly overhead? You can try. Give me an athletics. Throw a hope up there. Well, no, He's smaller. Like, I need someone who can light a fire up there. Give him a torch. Got a torch actually equipped still. Well, I'm not doing it. Uh, Lee will begin climbing and fall. He'll take 1d6 damage. I just throw a torch up there. Yep, that's the failed thing for it. He'll take two. Wow. Throw a torch. Okay, uh, yeah, throw one of the, uh, throw my lit torch up there. Okay. Uh, roll me a flat 20. That's the one, uh, the, the furthest to the left, yeah? Yes, and, uh, roll me an athletics as well. Just don't kill yourself with your own thrown torch. <laughs> roll me an athletics to see how well you throw it. Oh, that's not bad. All right, you'll hear uh, several clunks and then... You're not sure where the hell it goes. Ah, well, at least it should stop any spiders coming from direct that direction because they're not going to head towards fire. I hope. Uh, can I also create a bonfire just past uh, the toxin? Just past who? The toxin. Uh, you will need a source of fire placed there first. My right. fireball? I create, I create bonfires. It's a spell. Oh yeah, he's not he's not using control fire, is he? He's, he just creates okay, yeah. create a magic bonfire that. that creates a five foot cube. Yep, you're good. Okay, so create bonfire. And then... And I want to cast that about... Here. Why didn't that create? Uh, just give me a, an arrow where you want it, and I'll put down the fire for you. How do I just put an arrow down? Uh, you can, uh, like, hold both um, left and right mouse. And yeah, right. basically. Yeah. I believe you can make five foot of fire. Right here. Yeah, I want a square here. Okay. And I, it'll have to be one of the two squares, either there or there. Uh, go to left one. Okay. All right, that's set. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm doing with my six minutes. Does that, that only takes you? Uh, can we see now around the corner? Takes you six seconds to do that, by the way. Okay. Well, um, uh, and I'm going to move up next to. Uh, Just make another Marines. one next to it. Wall of fire. Uh, I need Actually, to AFK for like five minutes, so just do my goes for me, alright? <laughs> we can we can wait. For, we can take a little break for five minutes. Well, that uh, uh, event's happening uh, now-ish as well, isn't it? Or is it seven it starts? Yeah. I can't remember. Don't see anyone posting about it, so I assume it's seven. So are we taking a AFK break? Uh, yeah, I think Tom needs to run to the corner store. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So we'll right take now. like a ten. All right. I'm gonna go get something to eat and get a drink. Okay.